Welcome to another pitch that proves creative genius is sexy. So, you're going to love our secret recipe. It's a feature film we call The Death Row Show. I'm going to let my two assistant chefs here show you that they know the ingredients that go into a legendary hit film. So, first of all, I want to know what we're cooking. We want it to be a smart choice. Check out this cut of meat. High concept action film, shoots in Louisiana, great tax credits, do the CGI in Canada, and below the line is $20 million. So we have a big concept action film shooting in Louisiana as our meat. So how do we start? With a bang. You know it. <laughs> With our lead character, Rudy. We paint this picture of him being the most successful reality show producer. So, from the first scene, we spice it up a little bit with a hot, sexy, wild beach crew party. Meanwhile, Rudy's stuntman, Denial, is flying a military rocket across the, across the coast while everyone else is watching below. But incredibly, the rocket hits the rock wall instead, and it buries a thousand of his best fans. So you've got just thousands of people being buried by this avalanche. Rudy's guilty. We hook everybody in the audience up with this fantastic set piece. Next thing you know, we're out of the first bit. Oh, but if this is my favorite dish to cook, I want the male lead to be hot and sexy. <laughs> oh babe, he is. He wins you over with his wit and balls when he convinces the judge to sentence him to the Angola prison in Louisiana. <gasps> Nobody knows why, because that has the worst inmates in the South. I'll tell you why. He wants to go to Angola because Louisiana has the best tax credits. He knows that the state is broke. He goes to the governor and the warden and he says, look, I can turn Louisiana into Mardi Gras all year long if you just let me film the death row show. And not only that, but it's going to kill off all these people on death row that you want to get rid of anyway. Fantastic concept. Everybody goes for it because they're going to make billions of dollars. Oh, but wait, wait. What's the show about? Rudy picks 20 of the most hated killers in Angola prison. The winner is set free. The rest die, but in crazy, hilarious ways on camera. What a dish. What do you girls want to serve with it? And I want kick-ass weapons I've never saw before. Oh my god, that's what takes this dish legendary. This is how it's set up. See, he worked with this guy named Otis before on another reality show. He moves a lot of black market arms into the war zones. Except he does a lot of the illegal weapons and the futuristic weapons. As a matter of fact, we meet him off of the coast of Africa. He's protecting a ship. And he owns, aims this ray gun at this boatload of pirates. And it makes lava flow out of their ass. They have to jump into the water just to cool their assholes off. Ouch! I ate peppers like that in China once before. <laughs> Yikes, I believe it. So what we have is a situation in the United States where we don't have a budget to buy any of these really cool off-the-market weapons. Otis jumps on this and says, I will get you weapons that will blow your mind. So, just so we understand, the sexiest screenwriter alive has actually done research on these different weapons that have been invented, which makes them that much more awesome. Layla, which of these weapons is best for our recipe? The gravity hammer, the inside out gun, which turns you inside out, literally and slowly. Mm. My favorite is the weapon of pain. And if our plate isn't already overflowing with what it takes to have a hit movie, we have the stalking landmine. Totally annoying. I will blow you up. Ten, nine, eight. <laughs> now, as if an action movie isn't good enough, it has to be only as good as the bad guys are bad. We dish out an all-you-can-eat smorgasbord of the most hated felons. Now, I really want you to get into how much these guys are so hateable, they're all different. We're gonna love to see them go. In fact, I'm gonna let the girls kind of rub it in right now. Yeah, picture having all these guys in one room. Which one would you like to see die the most gruesome and funniest way ever? He picks a sex traffic kingpin, a child molester, revenge is served, a mafia boss, a crooked congressman, a Bernie Madoff investment banker, a Super Bowl quarterback that threw his game, an actor who hates his agents, so he killed him, a hot sexy seal commando that went rogue and killed corrupt presidents, a hillbilly meth cooker, and Abdul the Terrorist to the popularity fixation. These are our characters that survived round one of the Death Row show and are all released in Riverside Park. So girls, tell me how to set this table right. I'd want it to be so over the top, the whole world is watching. 
And that's exactly what he achieves. You see, the money being made of this is so fantastic that everybody wants to host it, uh, pretty much like they want to host the Olympics. But the money's much bigger. Countries around the world want to do this. They've got gambling. It's fantastic. There's a hilarious scene where Sierra Leone can't be part of it because of the blood diamonds there. Ah, but Rudy's a genius. He can even make Sierra Leone a loved company. He talks them into investing $200 million in these hospitals around the world for AIDS and anal reconstruction, and it pays off fantastic. So they buy a 30-second commercial showing the UN forces freezing the diamond slaves and pulling the diamonds out of their asses. So imagine one of these workers. Oh my gosh, a diamond. Thank God it happened in Sierra Leone because they've got the best anal reconstruction hospitals in the world. I'm gone. Classic trailer laugh. That's why you gotta buy a ticket opening week. Gotcha. So the second act is that essential quality of focusing on the characters, allies, and enemies. A lot of it focuses on the people that we think are the most important. Abdul the terrorist, Rudy of course, and his diatribes. And then we've got the uh, seal woman terrorist. He really builds this up and you seldom get a chance to see that sort of comedy and character development in an action film, but it's bookended by these action set pieces, so it really delivers the goods. So they've been running a popularity contest. They either think it's going to be the Navy Seal Babe or Abdul. The set pieces of the second act aren't all. Rudy starts to reveal the zeitgeist element of the story. And Rudy is just like Peter Finch in Network. The second act ends up killing off half their survivors, leaving only four. But you know what? This problem creates this great opportunity. They need four people because the gambling world has bet on four. The Navy SEALs pulled out. They need another player. Well, Rudy's already on death row, right? They say, sorry Rudy, you're in the game. If you get killed, too bad. It'll be good for ratings. All of a sudden, he's having to survive against Abdul the terrorist, the crazy meth junkie, and the mafia boss. And that's when they bring in the most amazing futuristic weapons ever. In the set piece, anchoring the finale, each of the four survivors is given two weapons. One must shoot like a gun, and the other is a massive kill weapon. Now, one of the shoot like a gun weapons is called a rail gun. You can look it up. It's incredible, but the things that are the massive kill weapons, like the gravity hammer and the blackout bomb and things, you just have to see. But trust me, it's fantastic CGI, big action set piece movie. And how does it feel? Like boom, 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 bang! And the dust settles. Rudy wins, but Abdul survives. But actually, that works out great, because there's only supposed to be one winner. There's two. Why? Because Abdul got his own reality show about likable terrorists of the world. They all get together, he's got 40 of them there, and who rises up out of the dust again? The woman Navy SEAL commando. See, they made a deal with her that we're going to let her go if she could wipe out 40 terrorists in one scene. That's what she promised him, and she does! She ends up being the hero. It ends fantastically with a nice surprise, and Rudy produced it all. So bite into this sexy action film. We promise you'll trade in your sushi for those meat and potatoes anytime. So what does that leave us for dessert, girls? The, the sexiest screenwriter alive just made you his pitch. I love my job. The sexiest screenwriter alive just made you his pitch.